Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the, the distance between the columns in, in residential building and also the size and the dimensions of the column that we can provide for our residential building. So, the common distance between the columns in a residential building ranges from 3 meter to 6 meter or we can say from 10 foot to 16 foot this is the common length or size or the distance between the columns in a residential building so of course we have different columns or the different stories of the building so we will show that how the dimensions of the cross section of the column changes with varying the height of the column or with the stories of the column so this is the normal size for a residential building but if you have a multi-story building with a high number of stories then of course this length of the the distance or the length between the two columns changes from 3 meter to 6 meter but this can vary depend on the design load but normally for three story building it is usually taken from 3 meter to 6 meter now here if i define that this is the ground floor for example and then this is the first floor and then I call it as the second floor and then we have here a third floor so we have a three-story building and we want to see the recommended com column sizes or the recommended cross section for the columns in a residential building so we start with the ground floor for ground floor if I call it G so if this is the cross section of the column so the minimum cross section of the column should be nine inches into 9 inches this is the minimum column size or we can say 0.23 meter and 0.23 meter and also there should be at least four number of the main bars and four four bars should be provided 12 millimeter diameter this is the minimum for a ground floor column size and also the stirrups or ties should be 8 millimeter tie bars with a 150 millimeter center to center distance so this is for the size for the columns here on the ground floor now size for the ground plus one it means for the first story we are using this for a three story residential building keep in mind for a first to the building, what we have to do, we can take the minimum or recommended size of the column of here 9 inches and 12 inches and also the column should be of made of 6 bars, at least 6 bars of 12 millimeter and also the tie bar is the same one 8 millimeter tie bar at the distance of 150 millimeter center to center so this is the cross section for the ground for the first floor so this is the recommended or the minimum cross section that is to be taken in the design of a residential of a three-story building so now we will talk about the second story for the second story we have a column size of if we draw the column size so the minimum column size should be 12 inches and 12 inches and there should also be six number of bars with a 12 millimeter diameter six bars of 12 millimeter diameter this is the minimum size for the main bars and the tie bar should be 8 millimeter tie bars with a distance of 150 millimeter center to center so now we discuss the last one which is the third floor here the column dimension for this should be the minimum column dimensions for this column should be 14 inches and 12 inches and at least four bars should be provided of 16 millimeter and two bars of 12 millimeter so we have 
total of six bars and the for the strips or the ties we can have 10 millimeter tie bar at a distance of 150 millimeter center to center so this is the cross section requirement or the recommended cross section for the different uh, columns uh, depending on the story of the building here we discussed only the three story building where we have only three floors but if your story of the building changes then of course your recommended size for the columns changes then you have to take the minimum size according to the standards hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video